so this is the clay that you got from me in class and we are going to try and uh, you're trying to make uh, a pinch pot which is what this is it's got some some things I need to work on to fix but as far as a pinch pot this is pretty much what we're looking for this is what is going to end up being the head of your bobblehead so um, you've got your clay piece and you need to do what's called uh, wedging it so we're going to kind of work on tapping the edges we're trying to kind of tap it into a circle we're also what we're also doing is getting some of the air bubbles out of the inside of it air bubbles are very bad when we're working with clay so uh, so you can use your mat kind of get that shape that you're trying to get. You can also kind of roll it into a ball. The mat doesn't lay down very good, so it's kind of making some racket. Okay, so I'm going to work on kind of smoothing that together, smoothing it out smoothing those lines together. You can see I'm smoothing it with my hands here. Using both my hands to kind of work it into a ball. Um, I'm going to smooth those together. Okay, so now that we have our ball, and we want our ball to be about this big. We don't want it any bigger than this. If your ball is um, bigger than about, let's say, a tennis ball. Yours is too big and you need to pinch, just kind of twist and tear some off and then you're going to put it in the bag that I gave you and you're going to keep it closed. Um, don't just leave the bag open because we're trying to prevent the clay from drying out. Uh, speaking of that, I'm going to put my other pinch pot up because I don't want it to dry out between now and tomorrow. So I've got that nice and, and dry are nice and wrapped up. Okay, so now that I've got a ball, I'm gonna take my thumb and I'm gonna press down into this. Whoops. You're not trying to push through, so if you push through, you need to repeat the process of uh, making it back into a ball and um, and then making uh, your thumbprint inside of there. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna kinda take like a crab claw and you're going to press and kinda rotate the clay as you go. And you're, again, you're not trying to push through the bottom, you're trying to keep it Your goal is to try to get all the sides, the bottom, and everything the same thickness. Okay, so this is the start of your pinch pot. Now, as you can see, you can see some cracking here at the top, along the bottom. You, can, you need to work on smoothing those out as you go um, because cracking means it's drying out and you're not wanting to, it to dry out just yet. We're not at that part yet, so you're going to work on smoothing that out using your fingers. And here I'm kind of using both hands to kind of go in and make it. You're, you're not trying to make it wider. You do want it to open up a little bit, but you don't want a big, wide, big, wide mouth on it. So again, I'm working on smoothing that out, and that's what we're going to be working on.